Hello everyone, it's week three of the Mixed Media Techniques prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium, and the challenge for this week is Crackle. Um, I'm going to be sharing a couple of different ideas for doing Crackle. Um, everybody will be able to tackle this. I'm sure that all of you have got PVA glue at hand. Now, you can work on cardboard, um, chipboard, pieces of um, pa food packaging, whatever you have on hand. I've got here some chipboard um, ATC size pieces here that I'm going to be using just because they're nice and thick but as I've said you know food packaging will work equally as well for this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat one of these in some gold iridescent paint this is the Pebio Studio acrylics and one of them in white gesso this is the uh, Pebio Studio acrylics white gesso and I'm just going to give um, a coat to each of these the easiest way to do it is to just put um, a blob of paint in the center of the artist trading card and just spread it out I don't want the um, gold to go over the edges if I can help it so this is the easiest way for me to to do it so we'll do that um, just really quick here we go not being too fussy about this there we are and I'm going to do exactly the same with the gesso on the other side now the paint and the gesso are now dry and I'm going to start off with the gold one here with the paint on I've got some PVA craft glue just really cheap stuff from the works I've had this for a couple of years at least and I'm going to put um, a really generous um, amount of glue on there let me just grab a piece of deli paper as well just to catch um, some of the excess stop it I'm getting on my paper and all I'm going to do is just spread this all over the background like like this I want a really nice thick um, thick layer I'm going to go down in ridges like like this trying to spread it out quite evenly um, maybe we can go across um, sideways as well perhaps Here we go, that will do fine. Yep, I'm I'm happy with that. And then I've got um, some paint. I've got some acrylic paint here. This is the um, golden fluid acrylic in teal. You can use any type of paint um, for this. It really, really doesn't matter. And I'm just going to apply a nice layer of paint across the top there like, like that. And I'm just going to brush it um, down. Now, the important thing is here is not to press down too hard. You don't want to um, amalgamate the paint with the glue. You want to brush it um, as a layer on, on top. Don't mess around with it um, too much. So I'm just going to leave... Leave that be um, to dry and hopefully the cracks will start to appear fairly soon. Now I want to do something with the um, one that I covered in white gesso. I've got some of the DecoArt Media Crackle paste. This is the white crackle paste and I want to see what the difference um, is. I have tried um, similar techniques before but um, you know I think it's um, always fun to play. I am going to apply this with a palette knife. That's um, how it suggests that um, you add this. This. I'm just going to add a layer like this, try and spread it um, evenly all the way down. Um, we obviously need a bit more in this corner corner here. This is not very easy to do. Let's um, let's try it this way, this way up as well. So just trying to get um, a really even, even layer. Maybe hold it um, like like this and again I'm just going to set that um, to one side to dry I've got um, a few ridges um, in that I'm happy with that that's fine let's just set this off to one side and um, see what happens now these have been left for about 45 minutes or so you can see this one here is really subtle you can see the crazing starting to um, form but um, you know not um, a great deal there I decided to have another go um, at this one here and added um, a thicker layer of glue and I'm much happier with this one here I love that so um, this one needs to continue drying this is the one that um, I added the deco art media crackle paste to I love this 
Um, it's not finished yet. You can still see that the middle has still got um, a long way to go, but just look at all that wonderful crackling that's going on um, there. I've also got um, these two here. Um, I added some of the blue to the background here and um, added some of the um, crackle paste over the top. Just look at that. You can see all the wonderful blue in the background. Love, love, love that. Um, and I've done the same with this one here, but this one had gold in the background. I just love it. It's just absolutely um, beautiful. So these are going to have to dry for another couple of hours at least. And as soon as they're, they're dry, I'll be back. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? They've taken all night um, to dry. And I did end up playing with another one as well. This was the first one I did in the turquoise where um, I didn't get so many cracks. And so I decided to play with it a little bit further. I put a really thick layer of PVA glue on it so that it was opaque, a bit like um, triple thick or glossy accents. And then I sprayed it with some of my um, iced spruce distre uh, distress oxide spray and left it for about 45 minutes or so. And whilst I got um, a really interesting effect, I didn't actually get any crackling. It was sort of more like um, a mottled effect. So I decided to add some more of the turquoise paint, um, which I did. And that started to look really interesting. And then I sprayed it again with the Distress Oxide Spray and I've left it. And this is what I've come down to this morning. It's just absolutely fabulous. Um, the gold has come through from the base layer that um, that I put on. In fact, I'm just wondering. Um, yes, no, it's, it's the gold from the uh, from the base layer that, um, that I put on. But it's just given it such a grungy effect. Now, the um, layer of PVA glue that I put on this was so thick that I'm not going to be able to use this today because um, it's still quite soft um, in places so um, that will give me time to think as to what on earth I'm going to do with it but let me show you the other ones so of course this was the one that I did with the PVA glue with a slightly thicker layer of PVA I love that this is the one um, with the Deco Art Media Crackle Paste with a white gesso background. Love, love, love that. Um, this is the one with the turquoise background and the Deco Art Media Crackle Paste and this one here with the gold background. Um, all really different. This one's got much bigger cracks for, for some reason than the um, crazing on these ones here. I have no idea why, um, <laughs> but I just think they're all unique um, and just beautiful. Um, so I want to work on these a little bit further. Now I've gone over the edges of these with a sanding block um, because it was a bit bumpy. Um, you can still see remnants of it that's fine at least it's smooth now the same with this one here this one's a bit more um, bumpy in places but that's okay it just adds to the texture what I want to do with these two here is add some antiquing polish this is the folk art antiquing polish in brown and I'm just going to let's start off with with this one here let's add some of this and um and just see what we end up with. I think this will grunge it up um, as well. I've done this before and it gives a really nice um, effect. I'm just using a mini blending tool here. So let's just um, do that. I've also got, hang on, let me just um, reach for it, a microfiber cloth here. Let's um, just buff buff that off um, as well. I might add a little bit more of, um, of that. Let's add it to the, to the sponge. So you can still see the gold the gold through it um, but it just um, gives it more of a grungy weathered wood I would say effect I like how that um, that looks just grabbed a damp a damp baby wipe that's better that was more of the look I was um, I was going for so I really like that um, I'm going to try it on on this one here as well in fact let's just add it straight to the um, ATC and this will hopefully reveal those cracks even more you see it does it's just just beautiful and again hopefully I'll still be able to see the gold um, under underneath and let's just take a damp baby wipe just to wipe some of it away you see I like the color of that as well with the antiquing cream on it now with this one here I want to use some of the distress stain in iced spruce so let's just dab this on and see what happens I love ice spruce. It's my, my favourite colour of, of distress. 
In fact, I'd like to get this in the speckled um, egg as well because I think that's a, a beautiful colour. Now, I don't know whether to leave that to dry like that or wipe it off with um, a baby wipe. Isn't that a gorgeous um, effect? I think I'm going to leave it to dry just like that, you know. I really like it. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm just drying this with my heat tool just to see if I can keep that lovely colour. And whilst it's drying much lighter, it's just beautiful. I love it. Now this one here is giving me a bit of trouble because everything I add to it just wipes um, straight off. I'm trying to get some um, really nice texture. So I've decided what I'm going to do is add some matte medium just to seal it and um, see if that makes a difference. So we'll add coat of matte medium and give that a dry and then see if I can keep any of the textures. I could have used clear gesso um, as well but I've got the matte medium to hand. You see it's reactivating those colours that um, are underneath now but um, they just wipe straight straight off so let me just give this a quick blast with the heat gun. Now let's see what happens if I add some Distress Oxide over the top of this. You see, this was the texture that I got that I really liked, um, but it just won't stay on. It just keeps um, wiping straight, um, straight off. That looks really interesting and I wonder what will happen um, if we add some of the Walnut Stain as well. I don't want to get this too dark. Maybe just add a bit here like this. You see, that looks so much more interesting than it did um, before. I'm going to give that a blast with the heat tool as well. Let's see whether it um, rubs straight off. It's not as bad as it was before. What I'm going to do now, but again, you see, it's all gone into, into one. It doesn't matter. Let's try some permanent ink. Let's try the... You see, that's beautiful as well. Let's see what happens with uh, with this. Again, I'm going to give that a quick blast with the heat tool. I've just grabbed some of my Authentico chalk wax. This is the um, antiquing wax in white. And I want to try adding some of this over the top. See what it looks, looks like. You can see I'm just playing. Um, just trying to build up textures. You see, that's really lightened it, but we've still got those um, those darker areas as well. That looks cool. I like that a lot. So I'm just going to keep playing with this. Now you can see I'm still playing around with this. I'm just adding some more of the Memento ink in Espresso Truffle just around the edges like this. It looks beautiful. I'm really happy with that. And I think I'm going to take this outside now and um, spray this with some um, fixative. Isn't that gorgeous? Love, love, love that. So I've just got one more left to do something um, with. Now, I was going to use my Nouveau Mica Mist. Um, this is one that I had for Christmas um, and I'm so sad. I've only used this once and it's just completely jammed. There is just no way that it will do anything at all. So I got this from Hobbycraft and I will be complaining about this and also writing off to Nouveau. Not impressed with that at all. So I've dug out my Tim Holtz um, Distress um, Spray Stain. This is in Tonish Brass. Let Let's hope that this one will work and I'm just going to spray this um, over over the top like this. Now you can see I've got far too much ink on there. I'm just trying to um, drip it off like this. Um, let's try and get rid of um, some of that um, excess but I'm just hoping that the gold will seep into the cracks. You can even rub it over like this. I'm already inky. Who cares if I get um, even more inky? <laughs> Let's do this. Beautiful, beautiful colour though. And so I'm just going to heat set that with my um, heat tool. Now I've left that to sit for a minute or two and I'm just rubbing uh, the excess away, just using a baby wipe. You can see that I'm um, using some of that um, excess as well to try and get deep down into those cracks. Let's see what we can um, do with this. It looks more tea stained 
um, at this stage than anything, but it looks like eggshells. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I've given that a good dry with my heat tool and I'm just wondering whether I can um, just apply some of this, just tip it on um, and maybe use a paintbrush. Where's the paintbrush gone that I had um, on hand? Let's just spread some of this over and see if we can get um, a nice contrast. That looks lovely actually. So let me set this aside um, to dry as well. And with this one here, I'm going to go over with some black stays on ink. I know, shock horror. Let's just see what we get with them um, with this. Oh, I love it. How gorgeous. That is beautiful. Love, love, love it. I was scared to do this, <laughs> but I'm really glad that I did. Experimenting is so much fun. You never know what you're going to end up with. Isn't that beautiful? Just look at that. Of course, I'm brave now and I'm going over and over again. I want a thicker layer. It just looks gorgeous. It's beautiful. I'm pressing harder and harder and I love the effect. It looks like um, a, a beehive. Oh my goodness me, that is superb. That's gorgeous. Well, I am calling it done for today. Just look how fabulous these are. Now, this one here was the one that was giving me trouble. And after doing the black with this one here, I decided to go over it with um, black stays on ink as well. Oh my goodness me, it was just absolutely gorgeous. And then I let that dry and decided to go over with more of the white um, antiquing wax. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I love how different um, each one of these is. I'm glad to say that this one here is now dry. I don't know what um, I want to do with this one um, further, but I'm going to call this um, done for today. These are just the most wonderful, wonderful backgrounds. Um, but at this stage, I just want some time to have a think about how I want to turn them into finished projects. Well, I'll be back next week um, to share some ideas as to how we can use these gorgeous backgrounds. I just need time to put my thinking cap on and, um, you know, come up with some ideas as to how I want to use these. I don't want to rush into it. It. But just to recap, the challenge for this week is to create crackle backgrounds and feel free to um, share finished projects if you want to as well. I just need a bit more time to think about what I want to do with mine. Don't forget to go and check out Kylie's video this week as well and see what she's been up to as, you know, no doubt she's come up with something completely different to what I've done here. And if you've enjoyed today's video, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up because as I always say, it really does let YouTube know that you like what I'm doing do let me know which one is your favourite as well or if you have a couple of favourites um, let me know which ones you like best and if you've got any ideas as to how you would finish these you know I'm always interested to hear your suggestions um, but if anybody would like to follow along with this particular challenge um, I'll leave the link to the Facebook group the Mixed Media Emporium in the description box below please be aware that we are a prompt related group um, so anything that isn't prompt related does get removed there are also four entry questions Questions which you will need to answer otherwise your request will be um, automatically declined so please be aware of that but we'd love to have you come and join us um, but you know most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now